My name is David Yacano, and I'm game day operations person here at Flower City Union. I, uh, I get here around six to seven hours before game day, making sure that uh, all the logistics are kind of handled. One of those tasks is pre-game locker room setup, making sure we have the proper kits cleaned and ready to go, make sure towels are clean, uh, make sure the locker room is in good order, and there are a number of people who uh, work here making sure that all is in place so the fans can enjoy themselves on, on game day. Right now, we are going through the home kits, making sure that our starters, as well as our subs, all have their jerseys with hangers, their shorts, the proper color socks, and making sure that their locker looks nice, neat, and professional for the team when they come in. So right now, we got Kranich, 88. He is playing today, he is on our list. So I'll come over to his area, made sure everything is clean here. He's got a jacket that we'll put on the right hand side. I already placed a hanger in place uh, when I got the rosters for today. So I know that he's one of our players that should have his jersey set up. Make sure it's square upon the hanger, um, etc. cetera. Uh, we can kind of be a little anal when it comes to setting up the jerseys and the shorts just because we want to make sure it looks clean, nice, and professional for our players when they come in. What's up everyone, my name is John Betters. I, uh, I'm the director of corporate sponsorships here. I also am the game day coordinator here. So it's game day here. So right now we're about a couple hours from kickoff and we're setting up our suites, uh, doing drinks, uh, putting all our promo materials in it, setting up the suites for each business that's coming. And yeah, let's have a great game day.
would like to extend a thank you to our partners for this inaugural 2022 season. Pizza was started by Salvatore Soccer Sam Fantuzzo as a high school project in 1978. 44 years later, Salvatore's is 30 plus locations and outlets. We serve the highest quality ingredients with old fashioned customer service. Between the Salvatore's Pizza brands, we have over 1,600 employees. Several former pizza box makers now operate their own locations. The next generation of Salvatore's is being led by a dream team with amazing long standing operators and ambitious young franchisees. We are proud of the growth and opportunity that Salvatore's provides. We invite you to dream big and join our family. What is Cowork? Cowork is a shared workspace that allows all its members to interact. The thing that makes Cowork unique is the ability to share the space with people outside of your field. Cowork is an easy to use professional workspace. With any membership level, you can meet with clients and work in a polished facility with everything you need. Show up when you want, get your work done, pay only one monthly bill, and grow your business at Spot Cowork. This is Rochester, the place we call home. This is the day we told the world that soccer is coming back to Rochester. Pro soccer is making its way back to Rochester. This is our home stadium. And this is the name, Flower City Union. This is what the fans think. And this is where the branding project begins. And we bring in this guy, Chris Payne, soccer brand designer. This is Chris hosting the Focus Group. These are conversations about the brand. When something puts this city on the map, it becomes a thing. There's there's such a history of soccer in this city. This is capturing the community's voice. It's a, a proud city. There's a lot of opportunity. I think this is going to be really great for Rochester. This is Chris asking a question. So what flower represents Rochester? A oh, lilac. Probably lilac. 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 This guy is Dave Weaver, owner of the club. Without the lilac, we wouldn't be the flower city. This is lilac. The flower. This is lilac, the color. This is hours and hours of researching, studying lilacs, sketching lilacs, designing, getting those petals just right. This is long days in the studio. This is hard work until this is ready for launch. This is our club's new identity. This is the lilac, the flower that represents us. These are the budding flowers, a sign that good times are coming. This is the camera flash, a nod to an iconic Rochester industry. This is the name, Flower City Union, uniting Rochester from Charlotte to Menden, Penfield to Greece. And these are the colors of our community, lilac and purple. This is our brand pattern. This is our club merch for the summer, and this is our club merch for the winter. This is Jenna Cottrell having a good idea. I had a thing. I was thinking, um, like, for a tagline, rooted in Rochester. And this is what that idea would look like. This is Times Square Building, the Kodak Tower, local soccer, the High Falls, grabbing a Jenny, eating a garbage plate, celebrating a goal, putting our city on the map. This is just the beginning. We are Flower City Union. Rochester has always been a city for creators, where innovation, adaptation, and inclusion drive us forward. America's first boom town. The world's image capital. The flower city. No sport connects people more than soccer. It's the world's game because it's an open game open to all colors, all locations, 
all backgrounds, all languages, and all genders. But too often, access to soccer in America is closed to those who can pay. High club entry fees, extensive travel, and private training costs all plague the youth experience while the professional game is restricted by territory rights and a minimum ownership net worth. It doesn't have to be this way. Flower City Union was created to be more than just a soccer club, to do things differently. Our focus is working with the local soccer community to expand access, to elevate the athletes, coaches and supporters, businesses, and people of our great city. Our intention is to support and give back to the Rochester community and share a platform of local small businesses and organizations who are the heartbeat of this city. Our vision is to be the first American pro soccer club to offer true equity ownership to anyone who wants it. To be the true people's club, not just a club governed by a select few. Flower City Union believes that a city rooted in aspiration and new ideas deserves a club rooted in these same values. We are announcing that true ownership of Flower City Union is now open for anyone who wants to be an owner of a professional soccer club. No restrictions, no minimum net worth requirement, just a club wanting to be open to anyone who wants to be an owner and have their voice heard. Hi, my name is Ramon Arganzoni and I'm co-owner of Palermo's Market. We're a family owned and operated restaurant located in downtown Rochester, New York. My name is Richard Colon. I'm a local educator, also a Rochester street photographer. I'm Heather and I'm the CEO at NAMI Rochester and we are leading the mental health revolution. My name is Kwaje. I'm a photographer and writer. And. 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 Rooted in innovation, rooted in opportunity, rooted in Rochester. So we may not be Guy Fieri touring the country searching for diners, drives in and dives, but we are local. Hometown, the Rochata. We are Flower City Union in Rochester, New York, and we're taking you to see small businesses, creators, and impact makers around our great city. Us new guys have a lot to eat, explore, and experience. So stay tuned, because we're hitting the streets and showing all of you what this great city has to offer in our new YouTube series, Rooted. The mayor's a big fan of Flower City Union, and he really enjoyed, we went to a match together, Actually, it was a match that the weather was horrible. It was 39 degrees, uh, there was winds, it was raining, and it was, uh, we sat in one of the lovely suites that you have there, and the suites have an inside section and an outside section. His son, one of his sons, Carter, sat at the outside for the entire game, because, and the mayor probably would have left a little earlier, because he's got a very busy schedule, but because Carter wanted to stay there, we stayed there, we had a ball. I think having Flower City Union Complex, their home in the city of Rochester, I think is fabulous. And the mayor does as well. I mean, we, we have professional teams. Your team is a major league team. We also have several minor league teams who, who are housed right in the city of Rochester. So. Uh, to be a destination to come downtown and to support the businesses downtown, we think is very important. And we're very excited that uh, Flower City decided to come to Rochester. If fans have any concern about parking near the stadium, I think that they shouldn't. The, the, the downtown of Rochester is the safest part of the city, period. 
Uh, the city is very excited about our relationship and arrangement with Flower City Union. Uh, Flower City Union is another attraction in the city. It's a, it's very exciting. I was at five or six games, and I can tell you, it, we were glued to the to the action on the field. Um, as far as the collaboration internally, I I was delighted that the owner of Flower City Union could meet with the mayor and myself to talk about ways that we can work together. The Flower City Union is very community oriented, so we arranged to have our uh, uh, Recreation and Human Services Director to meet with representatives of Flower City Union to see the kind of things that we can do. Things like clinics for inner city kids that Flower City offered to the city of Rochester. So we're very excited. If we give the support that we should to Flower City Union, we will once again be known as Soccer Town USA.